Hello and uh, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today we're going to make some interesting stuff utilizing the built-in instrument rack in Ableton. So we go to our instruments, we grab a instrument rack, put it on an empty MIDI channel right here. We open the device list. We choose some instruments, can be the built-in ones or third-party plugins, but in this case, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to choose uh, built-in instruments. So I want five different sounds. And what I want to do is I want to use a macro knob on this instrument rack to choose which instrument is going to be playing at that particular time, according to what value the macro knob is set to. So in order to do this, we need to uh, make this instrument rack into a group, which it already does right here. And we want to open up the chain selector right here. And then we want to mark all these instruments. We're going to drag it all the way to 127. Then we're going to right click. And we're going to choose distribute ranges equally. Then we click on the map knob over here. Sorry, not this one. Oh yeah, sorry. No, this one. Yeah, that's correct. And then we click on this little chain selector over here. And we can map this to macro 1. So what this means is if I play a sound here. Oops. Um, sorry about that. I gotta go to my audio effects and then grab utility over here. Yeah, so. Just watch this right here. It's changing between the instruments. So, so far so good. <clears throat> uh, after that, I'm just having a long note here. I want this to be some, like these classic FM gated leads, you know. So what we want to do is we want to go to our MIDI effects. We want to choose the arpeggiator. We want to put this one over here. And then we're going to go to the Max for Live. We're going to get the LFO. I'm going to put her over here. And I want to map this to the gate. So what will happen now is It's gating the sound for us. I'm going to put it to random. Change the rate. To 1 16th. Since we're only playing um, sine waves, we can't really hear the difference between the difference, different instruments over here. We want to increase the rate. Because this is iTrans, so 1 16th is the way to go. There we go. And <clears throat> I'm going to group all of this again. And then I'm going to map this one over here. I'm going to map the LFO depth, the offset, maybe some smoothing as well. What more can be interesting to modulate? Yeah, the rate, of course. Let's just rename these.
Okay, cool. So now, watch this little gate parameter over here. I'm offsetting the LFO, the zero crossing point. Cool. We're going to leave it at that. So now we're going to go into our synth, and then we're going to start creating some sounds. Go for a sawtooth. choose a square wave. I want to make this oscillate a little bit more interesting. Stick with the original. Turn off the filter. Something like that. Let's move on to the second one. Uh, choose the thing I hate about this is that the release time is so long. Getting something over here. Gonna make this one a little bit more interesting. I'm just gonna do a slight modulation on the release time with an LFO, random LFO over here. Oops, that was the wrong one. Um, here we go. Change it to random, make it to perfect. Let's move on to the second one. Let's 
just make it a square. I was if we change this to a saw, maybe. Nah, let's go for triangle. This might work. I'm not that used to using the built-in um, VSTs inside of Ableton. I usually go for the third-party plugins. Um, you can do the exact same thing with Serum, Silent, or Faceplant, or whatever synth you like to use. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. It's nothing fancy. This is more about the concept of um, the concept of using the uh, instrument racks. Since we're going to use a filter, I think I'm going to take a wavetable with more with more harmonics. How about this one? Something like this. Now we're going to increase the volume a little bit. So we gain stage them correctly. Move on to the last one. This one's pretty nice. Oops, need to.
we have our sounds. And now, since we're not going to control the filters built inside of the actual plugins, because that's just going to be a hassle, I'm going to use a external filter, specifically the auto filter. And I'm going to put it outside the group. Then I'm going to take an EQ. Filter out the lows. What more do we need? Oh, we need a delay. And maybe convolution reverb. Because I don't like the other one that much, actually. And I want the delay to go inside the reverb. Awesome. Turn down the feedback a little bit. Go for ping pong. Turn down the dry wet. Same goal with convolution reverb. Let's go for the wood room large. Gonna Turn down the decay a little bit. And these two I want to group. I want to map the frequency knob over here. Map the resonance. I want to map the filter type. Let's leave that clean. I want to map the slope. That's going to be our filter. Perfect. And then for this one, I'm going to map the frequency of the low cut. And also the I want a high cut as well. Perfect. Let's call it filter and EQ. Let's move on to these ones. Group them as well. Call this delay and reverb. <clears throat> I'm going to map the delay mix. Call this one reverb mix. What more do we want to change? Let's different number here. I think I'm gonna, I'm satisfied with that actually. Yeah, let's keep it like that. So. We now have our sound source. We have our filter and EQ over here. And we have our delay and reverb. 
I'm going to group all of these. And I'm going to name it uh, something like random shiznit. Because why not? So now let's um, modulate some stuff then. So I got this kicking bass over here. Maybe we want to, let's add some more. Let's add in a saturator. I want to have that before the EQ, after the filter, but before the EQ. I'm gonna give it some drive. Found six dB, let's put it to soft sign. But I need to gain stages, so I need to lower the volume again with 6. have a compressor to glue it all together. It after the EQ, so it doesn't compress the lows as well. Turn off the makeup gain. Around, around a ratio of 4 to 1. That's about it. So let's jam a little bit. Something feels off. Let's change it and give some drugs.
see what we can do with the effects. Maybe I have a little bit. Awesome. That's um, all I wanted to show for today. Thanks for watching.